Hi and welcome to another part of Warren Zero build series which is installing the bed. So first of all let's take this aluminum block. It has the top side and the bottom side and how they are different. On the top side there are these three notches when the uh, screw head will fit and on the bottom side there is the, this M3 hole which is meant to be used for the uh, heat break. Also if we talk about the orientation the one hole is on the front and two holes are on the back and of course the first thing that we should do is to degrease the surface and doing with the uh, other purple uh, with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and I'm just wiping it trying not to touch the surface anymore. I have to apply the heater, the heated pad and we should do it like in the center leaving some free space for the um, break. So this should look like this eventually but I suppose with the size of the front zero heat bed you can basically apply the heating element whichever you want because it will still heat this micro bed. I'll call this center enough so if you need to install the thermal fuse you need to cut these two wires no matter which wire it is but you need to cut one of the wires and install it in the middle. Let's check that I haven't blown the fuse while soldering because, well, you can overheat it over 125 degrees Celsius and it can, well, it can blow. And now it works and the whole circuit works. Next part we have to pre-attach three M3 40mm screws together with the self-locking nuts. So these are called M3 lock nut in the formboard kit. But in case this is boring and definitely should be automated. That's better. The bed itself is fixed using these three screws which we have to put the three threaded inserts in and these three yellow springs. I'll show how it's done but let me first do the threaded inserts. So the threaded inserts should be put on the flat side. There is a side with a bulge and there is a flat side. So on the flat side. Next thing is the position of the bed plus the wire management and I'll try to show where the wire should go. So you have this bed carrier and you have these two parts which holds it together, one and two. And on the right one, let me just zoom in. And on the right one you have this ridge here. So the um, wires should go in. To secure this you will need some very thin cable ties which should be put in these holes here and should be pushed through. So I prefer to put them before I'm putting the bed so I can well easily put the wires in the correct place afterwards. Then putting the bed is as simple as managing all the wire hell. Putting three, putting these three springs on the corners of the bed and carefully pushing the bed through. And then I'm pushing the wires. Obviously, uh, first wires go on the side of the bed here. Then they go through a ridge I've shown you. The a hole which is used to attach the um, cable chain. I'm not sure if the well, thermistor connector can fit here. I'm having a genuine trouble doing that. Oh, yeah, it can. Uh, anyway, V0 is not for people with big hands. 
for this point I suppose I can attach the cable chain it will require to install two threaded inserts here uh, I think I will use some M3 6 millimeter or M3 4 millimeter no I don't have M3 4 millimeter so M3 6 millimeter will be the screws of choice interesting fact that this small chain which form what sand uh, cannot be opened so basically you have to just push everything through I will have to remove the wires from the connector unfortunately and maybe recream them later because well it just doesn't fit the connector just doesn't fit and I've tried fitting to fit in uh, to fit it in uh, even before I put the uh, bad wires no success and the first wires are going under the printer into the electronics compartment. Good job! See you next time.